everyone. How's it going, everyone? I had my mic muted at the first intro. That's a great sign. Well, YouTube boys, um, come check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. But other than that, thanks for watching. I'm going to turn the game down a bit because that was a loud spike. I It should be about my um, my volume, but you know. We'll keep it. We'll keep it a little lower than my voice. Um, the music is great in this game, though. Same as the illustration um, by Megan Wong. That's uh, it's nice that they attribute her right on the front. Anyway, this is a small indie title called Shadows of the Forbidden Gods. It's pretty great. It's been in development, early access for a while. Um, I think it's a very small team, if not only one guy who made this. Um, according to at Splattercat Gaming, shout out Splattercat Gaming. He plays a bunch of cool indie titles. We have to choose a god to play as, so we play as the bad guys, which is really fun. Um, not a lot of games, especially grand strategy games, that you play as the bad guys, other than uh, EU4, something like that. But uh, it's never a clear, def definitive bad guy. But this game, you're uh, you're always bad. You're always bad. You're you have to start a cult, and all of these gods have different different like uh, mechanics themselves. So the game plays very differently depending who you choose, um, what sort of strategy you use to take over the world, and it's a lot like Civ in the fact that it's a bunch of grid marks, but it's not like Civ in the fact that you don't have your own that was my dog barking. Hi, Mabel. Hi. <laughs> um, you don't have your own, like, squares you can move to all the time. You move between towns. And there's specific, like, paths. You'll see once we get into it. But I love this game. Um, I'm gonna... You know what? I might as well play as the first one. I've beaten... So you have to unlock these later on. Um, by beating the campaign with the gods before them. So I've beaten it with, I think, three of them. I've beaten it with Mamon. I've beaten it with Easter, and I've beaten it... I don't know if I've beaten it... Yeah, I've beaten it with she Will Feast, that you have to. Um, but let me do it again, since it's been the longest time. So, she Who Will Feast. Um, I'm a big snack. Giant. But I think I start small. This Elder God provides a wide range of powers, uh, which will support many different gameplay styles. She is a good starting point, as her powers allow exploration of all types of strategy, by disabling heroes and providing additional temporary agents to support your plans. When her last seal breaks, She Who Will Feast emerges into the world. She will exist on the world map as a controllable military unit. If she dies, you will lose, but she will rapidly grow into a powerful military asset by herself. This happens pretty much late game because you want to protect her at all costs because if she dies, it's over. Um, her birth will destroy nearby settlements and devastate the local terrain. Yeah, so that's why it's also late game. If you want to be stealthy at all and not get seen by the people, um, then you have to keep you have to keep a low profile and you can't just have a giant snake running amok. She who will feast is a godworm, a terrible creature from the black void, black of the void, between stars, who has slain dormant for millions of years until the stars are ripe for her hatching. A time will come when she will devour the world and journey forth to lay her brood, dooming other worlds to be consumed by her offspring. So, Space Snacks from uh, Rick and Morty. She Will Feast is designed to be simpler than others, ideal for new players, or for games focusing on the agents themselves, as opposed to the god's unique mechanics. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. She's She lays dormant for a long time, so you really just have to use the abilities you're given and her agents. So the agents are the key, the, the main way you influence the world. Um, and there's two different mechanics on them, menace and profile. And so, yeah, we'll see that later. I'll show you later. Um, powers. Um, the powers of She Who Will Feast focus on the Spray of Shadow, which is one of the baseline strategies in the game. She allows infiltration of locations to grant your agents faster access to cities and witches' covens. 
enabling faster and easier spread of shadow, which then unlocks powers available in the enshadowed regions to harm the heroes who venture within. Yeah, so eventually you you grow your own shadow empire, which is my favorite part of the game. Awakening. When she who will feast awakens, she emerges from her birth tomb as a vast godworm, a serpent the size of a village, and continues to grow as the turns pass. While in this state, she will fight as an army which which able, which is able to devour entire cities. You know, I should uh, email the dev about that. It's a small team, so they might just uh, change it. If humanity's, if humanity's armies can kill her, they will win. So she must careful, she must be careful to avoid her strongest bastions. Minor kingdoms or those already weakened by plague, war, or famine will easily fall to her assault. Sorry about that, taking a sip. I got a uh, beer advent calendar. It's sick, but this beer is uh, this beer is really cool. Land game. It's German. Basic strategy. Core strategy of this god is to take control of certain centrally placed cities by first infiltrating them, then enshadowing them. After this, spreading shadow via wells of shadow lets you spread across entire continents most powerful of these nations can be turned into a dark empire by the monarch agent so the monarch agent is a specific agent um, you only get one of them per game um, there's a couple others like i think there's four maybe five they might have added more who can then command her forces to invade the other and shadowed nations to form a powerful fighting force yes yes we want to create our own shadow nation World size, we'll keep it on default 42-42. Game seed, I'm going to go random because I've played it a bit. You can follow the custom seed if you want to follow along. Actually, let's hit it two more times. I don't like that number. I don't like this one either. Yeah, I, I really like this one. That's perfect. <laughs> and I could play on hard, but for the sake of entertainment, normal. And just so you can get a baseline of how hard this game is on normal. Maybe we'll do hard if it's too easy later. Um, each point of difficulty above zero adds a 10% multiplayer to every value change, while negative values add a 10% divisor. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So you can just up the difficulty from there for custom. That's kind of cool. Advanced? Oh yeah, this stuff is important. Turn limit, yes. Um, this sets a hard limit on the game, which makes sense. And uh, they make it make sense. Orcs, orcs are great. They're just uh, like a neutral threat to you. They're, they're not good for you immediately. They're also not bad for you immediately, but you can use them to your advantage. Deep ones, same thing for deep ones, but you have to make a deep one cult yourself. Orcs will just spawn in deep one cults. That's uh, that's your invention. I love making deep one cults. Uh, they're great. Just just fun to watch. You know, you kind of just set it and forget. The alliance. The alliance will rise up in the late game to oppose you. They can be set to resist internal threats. No shadow or infiltration. Disabled or left as normal. Humanity is vulnerable. Um, the alliance can be enshadowed and infiltrated. I I play on that one because I think humanity is vulnerable, and I think the alliance being immune is way too difficult. Their last stand is also good. Maybe I'll play on last stand this time because I think the first time I played as Big Snack, um, I played on this. Alliance can be enshadowed. So this one makes sense. No alliance is just too easy. If if there's no like threat of an alliance, I don't see a point in keeping any sort of stealth on your characters. Like people will come after you, but if they can't organize together into a bastion of like hope for humanity, like uh Elrond did in Lord of the Rings, but <laughs> I don't think there's a point. It's not very interesting. Next page. 
narrative elements. Let me challenge. I haven't actually seen this one. Use black strikeout for enshadowment graphics. Um, end of turn and movement events. Yeah. Pangea. Smaller islands. Yeah, no. Next page. Holy orders. Every human location created when the map is generated will follow a holy order. That's kind of cool. Um, limited options. Holy orders only have a random subset of the possible tenants. No, I think I think if orders dominate, that'll be cool. Divine entities. The holy orders will have an associated being with desires which can punish or reward your agents. That's kind of interesting. That, I think that's a new option. I like that. Number of witches. How many different witch holy orders? Just one, I guess? Just one witch? I wish you could randomly generate that number. That would be uh, much more interesting. Next page is in more human responses. Conclaves. The Chosen One can call conclaves to access powerful abilities. The Chosen One is the protagonist of the story. Well, antagonist for you, protagonist for the humans. The Chosen One is the only one who knows about you at the start of the game. They are the one hero that can spread the knowledge that you in fact exist <laughs> and you're out to destroy the world. And so they're going to be fighting you and leveling up and trying to rally humans the entire time. I don't know about this one. I don't know how that will affect game balance. I think it will just make the Chosen One even stronger. And if the Chosen One and the Alliance are both buffed, I might I might screw myself here. Magical arms race. Human mages will be motivated to keep up with your mages' progress. Yes. Um, you can get mages and incorporate magic into the game, which I haven't done too much. Maybe I should. Um, they won't... The, the humans won't bring mages into the fight unless you do. Which is very nice. Military escorts, rulers can deploy armies to assist heroes hunting down your agents. I mean, yeah, why not? That that makes sense. Okay. Hint basics. I'm gonna take a sip. Select agents and other units by left clicking. Right click to move. Once your agents are in the various locations, primarily human ones, you can select, sorry about the dog barking, you can select a challenge to perform by left clicking on those presented in the right hand panel. Yes, so this panel, it's kind of dark right now, you'll see it later. Um, I really hope you can't hear my dog barking. I hope it, my mic cancels that out. Um, new agents can be recruited and god power is employed using the buttons down to the lower left of the UI. Yes, down here. So, you don't actually have to interact that much, even though there is a lot of UI to be seen. Shadows of the Forbidden Gods is a game of infiltration and secret plans. Your agents serve your god, and are its primary tools to weaken and undermine the human societies. Your god will wake slowly, and as it does, it will unlock more powers to use. Be able to recruit more agents and gain power faster. While it awakes, your agents will be undermining the human societies and strengthening their enemies, such as the orcs. The heroes will oppose your agents and try to fix the damage they are doing or even kill your agents if your agents become too obvious. That's what I'm talking about with the stealth. So, here, let me just run you through the UI so you can understand what you're looking at, first of all. Middle of the screen, blinking dude. This is our first agent. You can see his info on the left. The supplicant. Supplicant is good. He is strong because he has good intrigue, so he can infiltrate places easier. Lore is how he builds things, um, so you need lore to make deep cults or shrines and stuff like that. Might is more for the orcs um, when you're fighting, so unless they're in direct combat, might is not super important. Command is how many minions they can command. I can just read it, but I'm not going to read all that text. That would, it would take me forever just to read all that text. Um, it's up on the screen. You can pause it if you want at the points. Yeah. Anyway, command. That's how many minions they can hold. Command limit three. Music's great, but loud. Very loud. 
I hope it's not too loud for you. I, do I have a limiter on? No, I'm checking OBS. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I think, I think <laughs> the sound was just too much. I didn't turn it off. But I turned it down. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Okay. So supplicant. Hit points 5 out of 5. Sandy 15 15. Sandy is something you try and take down on the people you're fighting. It's it's not too bad if if your guys' uh, Sandy goes down. Sandy heals slowly over time. Um, heroes will often turn paranoid and attack other heroes and do things like that, which is great. Attack and defense. This character's attack and defense in direct combat. Um, gold, he has no gold on him. There's actions I can do, like steal and such, so I can get gold and buy things and recruit minions. Um, Elder Tomb, this is his home. He has no family, um, because he is the supplicant. But you can see, like, family trees and such, so you can install your own leaders in places, which is really cool. So, he has an action, and I think he can also level up, so... I'm going to select a new trait, Conduit. Whenever this agent completes an in shadow action or challenge, gain two power. Cannot exceed maximum power. Okay, so that's cool. He gains power. Um, the Dying Light. When in a human settlement, increase shadow by 1% per turn. This, this sounds okay, um, but it's really not that good. Like, he'd have to sit in somewhere for, like, 50 turns. Um, and a lot of times you are doing actions for maybe 15, 20 turns. So you can, eh, maybe it is kind of decent, but it's not something you really focus on. Uh, and then Martyr for the Dark. When killed in a human settlement, all points of interest become infiltrated. This one's cool, but I think the supplicant is more valuable than essentially a, a shadow bomber. Just going in there and just and shadowing everything by dying you want to protect your agents they're few and far between and if you treat them right they can become very powerful so we're going to become the dark agent and so when we sit in human settlements right now we're in the elder tomb this is our home if this gets taken over we lose the game we have to keep it hidden nobody knows about us and that's fine um so here on settlements, you can see in shadowment, so 100% in shadowed. You can see that by the background of the tile, right? It's kind of cool. Um, represents how much corruption is spread across this settlement, bringing it under your absolute control. Shadow will spread between locations and will spread between a ruler and their settlement. So a corrupt settlement will infect a noble ruler or vice versa. Heroes gain shadow by resting in shadowed locations. So this is how we fight everyone. We just kind of let them go crazy by wandering into our lands. The settlement receives shadow form or from its neighbors and can spread it to others it is connected to. So you see the lines here. This is the movement for our supplicant, essentially, or any other heroes. So this is a hero. This is an army. This is a 10 out of 10 army. Just sitting in there. Oh, infiltration is a core element of gameplay. It's a good place to start your work. Sorry. As it enables many challenges which can prove useful throughout the course of the game. It represents your cultist embedded in human society, working their way into all levels, from the servants to the guards to the advisors. It can be seen on the location information or by dark tendrils reaching into the infiltrated location's map icons. Infiltrating takes longer the higher the security of the location is. Decreasing security or decrease security first by causing unrest or by infiltrating surrounding locations. Unrest can be caused by a number of means, one of which is causing a famine by cutting off food from so by cutting off food from surrounding villages. Jeez. Cannot talk today. Anyway, so you see these, these are all barren. These have no villages, nobody's living there. Um, they're not habitable, like, nearly at all. Which is fine. That's fine for us. It just means we have an easy target. 
easy choice, I should say. We have to go against this guy. He's hurt. He has 6 out of 8 health. And he's doing complete training. So he has one turn left on that. And he is a specialist in performing challenges related to deep ones. Interesting. So I don't know if this is a great target since it's a big city. Um, and this is our first level guy. We should start with somewhere smaller, maybe a citadel or the village. I think the village. So we can move there in one turn. Also, this is a deep one cult already? Okay, so you can see on the back of the tile what's going on. So on the right side, these are all the actions we could complete with our agent. Ooh, and it does, they all do different things. But the modifier is 60% deep one cult. Some unrest going on, N not really anything, but it's, uh, it's getting worse. Natural tendency towards peace. Oh no, it's getting better. But if we could, um, what was the influence? Deep one, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I want to see what the cult grows is. Okay, that's fine. So once this gets to 300%, the settlement is a deep one sanctum and like everyone will know about it which is which is okay but it probably would be better if it stayed secret for now this place city of onibont <laughs> is a geomantic locus so it's good for magic um you can cast like long range spells better from these spots arcane secret so you can learn magic here political instability if it reaches 300%, the society will fall in a civil war. Nice. 28%. It's getting uh, it's getting worse. Banditry. Constant increase in banditry. 47%. I like that. Decrease prosperity. And unrest. Which is getting better. Okay. Okay. So we... I think it's between... Do we go to the village? Or do we go to the village? <laughs> I think we're gonna go with the basic village so that was our move I don't know what our yeah so we have one move and then we can start an action here so to infiltrate this community would take 38 turns which is way too much Sorry, just turning the game down again. It's a, That's way too much. I can fight a Manticore for 20 turns, which levels up my guy a bit. Fuel the fire increases unrest, which is kind of nice. There's only 15% uh, unrest here. Um, it's a good action to just level up your guy. But everything is decided by the security of this place. Where is it? Yeah, so they have four security. It's a capital? This place is a capital? Or is it because it's connected to a capital? Oh, this is straight up a capital. This village is the only place. So you see these map borders here? This is defining the nations. These nations are pretty small. They can expand. This one is large. Wow. Wow. Huge. So we should try and infiltrate this place because they have a lot of land. And we want to we want to tear them in half. If we could start a civil war in the here in this uh this giant kingdom. That would be great. That would be really great. Wow. This is one of the largest I've ever seen in any game. So the ocean. Map limit. Let's just look at the map here. Actually, let's not let's not look at too much of the map. Okay, there is a work base over here. That is actually really good to know. So we can summon an agent. Let's see if we can... Let's choose an uh, action to do with this guy first. Before we start recruiting people, let's choose something. Hmm. 
So every every action has profile gain and menace gain. I can't I can't scroll over it, but profile here for menace seven. You see on the left our supplicant, zero profile, zero menace. Profile is can they see you? Um, do people know about you? So yeah. The low profile is great. Always want to keep that. Every 10 profile points allows you to be detected one step further away. That's interesting. And then Menace. Menace increases the motivation of heroes to attack you. So if your profile is really high, but you have zero Menace, people know about you and they just think you're a normal dude. If your Menace is very high, profile like zero, then people want to kill you, but they really don't know where you are. But one being high and one being low will be rare because a lot of actions take both most do um so we're just gonna fuel the fire here see if we can it's gonna take nine turns to do that which don't worry we're gonna recruit someone else so it's interesting while this guy does his thing nine turns later we will see how much this unrest has increased then your next step, you're gonna create an agent. Generic agents. I think this is what we want at, at to start. We want an orc warlord, so we can recruit an orc warlord. And if we fight a certain orc, then we can take control of that like that population. It, it's you know defeat the leader and take the town. That's it. Warlock will start magic, which I don't want to do yet. Hierophant. Um, Hierophant spreads your cult. Um, highly skilled at intrigue, so they're really good at infiltrating. And you can, yeah, you can use them to cause civil wars and assassinations and stuff like that. It's cool. Corruptible heroes, that's below. We don't have any heroes that are enshadowed or corrupted yet. So we can't do that, but later on we can recruit them. Then we have all of these unique agents. These ones, we can go through them later, but they each do specific things. The Harvester is really cool. And the Buccaneers? No. I haven't seen the Baroness the or the Buccaneer. Yeah, the Baroness and the Buccaneer are new, at least for me. We need an Orcish Shipyard for the Buccaneer. That's kind of cool. Um, Monarch requires capital city, 100% enshadowment. Plague Doctor, you need to make a plague. The Survivor is cool, but he is also a magic dude. Um, and you have to have a snow tundra, and world panic has to be at greater than 30. So you can essentially wake up this frozen giant once people start panicking enough. And requires a location with a desecrated holy site point of interest. Okay. A powerful warrior, the Baroness is excellent at defending her domain against enemy heroes. That's cool, so someone to, to uh, defend the monarch. She benefits from being near her desecrated holy site, and locations fall into shadow, but grows weaker outside them, so should avoid venturing too far. Uh, that's cool, six might, one lore, two intrigue, four command. That's really good, essentially an army commander for the monarch, who's your ruler, which is kind of base stats four command okay so we're gonna cre create recruit and create warlord so you come over here click on the orc fortress you select new guy and so we gotta level him up right off the bat i think i'm going to level up his might there's command i think his command so his command he can control more people which is good. I think he'll be able to fight. Oh, this guy is seven health? So I have to defeat the orc upstart. I don't know if he'll be able to do it. Attack orc upstart. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I hope uh, it doesn't just kill the agent. I hope he doesn't just die. What's his stats? What's his stats? Three might. He only has three might. And I have five might. Or four might. So I have to hit him two times. And he has to hit me two times as well. 
Okay, well, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna see how this goes. I kind of, I want to recruit someone, but I don't have any money. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait one turn and see if I can do these. Okay, so that was my next turn. And nothing. Yeah, passing turn. Let's do it again. Okay, so still no money. <laughs> so, and there's nowhere to raid. I have to take over this orc upstart. So let's just fight. Let's fight. So this is what the combat looks like. If you have minions, they'll go here and they'll attack and essentially shield your hero from dying. If not, then, you know, then it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Proceed. Warlord deals four to work upstart. Okay. Did two to me. I got I got a three out of five. Oh, good good hit. Let's not die on this next one. Let's not die. Come on, and I'm dead. And that's it. The gamble did not pay off. Warlord Prairie has been killed in combat with the Orcish upstart. The Orcish leader howls in victory and triumph. The gamble did not pay off. It didn't. It really did it. Wow. Um, let's do it again. Let's just do do the same thing again. Because I want this. Even though there's a limit to the agents you can have, and I actually there might not be a limit on how many generic agents you can recruit. Okay. So, I should have given that first one might, but now that this one doesn't have a hard fight, he, he doesn't need the might either. So, okay, yeah, good kill. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Uh, it's almost too easy. It's too easy. John Summit Horde has lost their upstart leader. Killed in battle with Warlord Ezrai. Okay, this this guy's name is way cooler. Um, and have fallen back into disarray and disorder. Suppression has been added to their society society actions. They will take some time before they begin to act of their own accord again. Nice. Dismiss. Victory. Warlord Ezrai has defeated and killed the Orcish claimant and would be warlord. With the orc dead, the others will fall in line. They understand the value of strength, and we understand their culture well enough to follow their leadership rituals. They will follow if we promise gold, glory, revenge, and carnage. With enough violence applied to the right people at the right time in front of the right crowds, orcs can be fashioned into a useful fighting force. Parade the head. Your agent can take up the horde's banner and use it to guide and lead the horde. Nice. So loot the fallen folk. This is where he had the banner. Take that. He had no gold, which is pretty sad. But I have the banner. So now we can do this. Subjugate. Requires you to be holding a banner of this horde. And uh, that'll be three turns. Let's see how this guy's doing. Turns left, eight. Seven. Six. Warlord Ezrai, complete subjugate fortress Jean. Nice. This actually has a pretty big army. This is a big horde. Okay, so you know what we can do? Now that we're out here, is this habitable? 10%, 7%, 0, 7. Pretty bad. Really, really bad, actually. So we're not going to expand over there. But we could expand here. Yeah. So, as the new leader, we can move over here. That's one move. We end turn. Yep, and he got there. So, claim territory. Expands the horde your warlord belongs to into a new location. Useful to begin massing for attacks on human nations. Yeah. Just make, make the horde bigger. Nine turns. That's fine. Nobody knows about him. He has three profile. It's like nothing essentially and no menace so he's fine four turns left on fuel to fire how's this village doing unrest at 10 percent what is this gonna do i i think it's just gonna increase it by a little we'll see but this 
Selma is getting in shadow every turn he sits in here. So 7%. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Is this place gaining? Okay, it is. It's gaining in shadow mint from this, like, influence. So is this, so is this. But these things don't really matter. Oh, this is real close, so it's getting 11%. If heroes wander into there, they'll get in shadow. Um, not these ones, because they're 1%. But, like, stuff like this, yeah. In turn. Let's wait on him. Two. One. Oh, she's in there. Oh, this guy. Specialist Deep Ones. Yeah, so this guy might shut this down. What action is he doing? Decimate Deep Ones. No, he has four turns. He's going to destroy this Deep One cult. That sucks. I might have to stop him. Unrest increased by zero. <laughs> Love it. The demagogue stands amongst the crowd, looking down on them from the upturned barrel, and whips them into a fury, reminding them of all the injustices and all the ills they are faced with. The force of their character and strength of their charisma erodes all hope. Zero percent. Oh, a rational debate, discussion, or reflection. Now is the time only for the strongest of emotions, the most instinctive of responses. So this dude spent like eight weeks nine weeks at this place trying to get people to go crazy and they didn't do anything and he's just standing there thinking he did something great <laughs> oh that's disappointing yes there are a lot of map views they're uh they're okay they're good they're good when you need them other times they can just useless which is fine i think when this game comes out and becomes more complicated and you need to like look at the entire map and find specific things i think that's that's where the map views really come into play but for now we won't worry about it okay so big failure here um let's go fight this guy and turn move one more Oh, he, oh, new trait, he leveled up. Stealthy. This is one or point one profile point of intrigue every turn. That's okay. Bonus lore. Lore would be good. Intrigue would be good. Might would be better for just fighting people. I think we just need to fight people, to be honest. Like, this guy, this guy is a bonus to his might, so we might as well, too. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, one more turn, and we'll get there. Hint, Deep Ones. Deep Ones are a minor race with whom you can build an ad hoc alliance. Nurturing their cults by keeping them hidden from heroes will allow you to curse human families, changing them into Deep Ones who can assist you. When past 100% charge, the cult will cause shadow and madness in the affected location. If the cult reaches 300%, it will assume control of the location and allow you to transform nearby human populations into yet more Deep Ones, counting towards victory. Yeah, this is why I love... Uh... Oh! Mediator Cribus Batatas is aware. 100% aware. This represents them being aware of your presence, nature, and true threat. If they are not highly enshadowed, they will try to act against you, defend their world. The chosen one is often the first to gain awareness and will spread it to the rulers, who will spread it to the heroes who rest in their cities and villages, who will then spread it still further, with their motivation growing with world panic. A map view can be used to track the geographic spread of awareness. Awareness is featured or required for the formation of the alliance. A collective of nations which will oppose you directly in the final conf conflict for this world jeez cannot speak aware rulers will also ward more often and fund the chosen one so wards will protect the settlements from gaining shadow and it's like how i lose unless i infiltrate and take it down which creates a lot more work than passively gaining shadow so where is she? Oh, she's just right up here. She's aware. So this is the chosen one. Yes, she is the chosen one. 
along the prophecy towards banishing evil. She's a mediator. Three progress per turn when performing challenges related discord. Okay, so that's good. So she uh, she calms people down. She's a deep one specialist, which sucks. Um, she's good at taking out deep one cults. And bonus command, so she can command ten minions. That's insane. Um, okay. Let's see how this fight goes. So he's at 8 out of 8 health. I'm at 6 out of 6. His attack is 6. I'm just... I, I'll be throwing this guy's life away. I can't do it. I, I can't. I can empower them. I can... Reduce the menace. They're at 70%. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth spending... I think it's two turns to empower them. But I will also increase my profile and my menace with this hero right here. And I don't know if I want to make him aware of my presence yet. So I think I'm going to go back. Another seal breaks and your god comes closer to their return. So the seals are the main progression throughout the game. Which is great. Your maximum power increases. Power up here. 2 out of 2. Power is unlocked. Eyes in the shadow. Boost the infiltration and selected location. That's great. That's exactly what I need. I might infiltrate this place. Infiltrate fortress. It's going to take 19 turns. That's insane. Because it has... It only has one security. Why does it take me so long? Hmm. So I'm going to boost it. I'm going to use this power. Oh, I also have cloud senses. The eyes fog and the ears ring. Progress is difficult with these distractions, but it is maddeningly, maddeningly impossible to find their source. Causes a unit to engage. Causes a unit engage in a task that moves up to ten progress toward this task. Okay. Well, that's good. Do I spend nineteen turns uh, doing this, or do I delay the deep one cult thing? I don't think delaying the deep one cult is that that big of a deal. Yeah. Boost this. Oh, wow. So that just 100% infiltrated it. That's great. So this place will now slowly gain enshadowment. 0.9 per turn, which is great. Infiltration adds 100% to it. Okay, that's awesome. I need to use that power, like, all the time. Their faith is a convocation of dawn. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is all new. This is new to me. No profit, elder influence, human influence, moral tenants, budget, prophecy. This is so much. This is so much. Um. Interesting. Okay, well, we're going to close these for now. We're not going to pay attention. <laughs> I like the new stuff, but let's focus on, on the basics for now. So we're going to get this guy some money. We're going to do some subtle thievery for four turns. Yeah, four turns. And hopefully my orc will be done soon doing his stuff. So you can see I used the two power. I now have no power. That regens slowly or through specific actions. Is this guy even doing anything? Yeah, he's doing it. Three turns left. Two, one. Don't. Oh, an action. This is for the supplicant. Supplicant is interrupted by a cough. One which carries a definite message to the listener. She has been seen by a passerby. Oh, the supplicant's a girl? Okay. Who watches her lazily, slowly smoking some manner of plant matter, occasionally belching a small acrid cloud as she watches the world go by. The guards are close at hand. She cannot be easily silenced, and she implies that unless the supplicant makes a donation to her smoking habit, she might cause a disturbance, which will slow things down for your agent. So, I could give her some money if I had some. Um... 
I could gain something by giving her money. That's cool. Um, if I had the courtier, I could be positively charmed and nothing happens. But I have nothing for her. So my menace is increased by four and intrigue is reduced by one for 20 turns. That's really bad. That's really bad. While your agents perform challenges, they will encounter obstacles every few turns. A random event will occur, which your agent must deal with if they wish to proceed with the challenge. Yep. And then my warlord claimed, so he has new territory. New lands are settled by the orcs. Hardy, fast to reproduce and able to eat almost anything. The orcs are capable colonists, rapidly expanding their society to the newly acquired locations. Oh, hint. Agent recruitment. You require two things to summon an agent, a space in your roster, and a recruitment point. You gain recruitment points over time, and your roster capacity will increase as your god breaks seals. Yep. Auto save for us. So, we have one recruitment point left. And a waste one, which kind of sucks. And two out of two agents. So, hopefully, I'll break a seal soon, and be able to get another one. That'd be cool. So from here, unit challenges, we can drop a cash, which puts our gold down, um, so our, our guy isn't carrying it. So if our guy dies or something, he won't have the gold on him, someone else can pick it up, which is nice. I don't use it too often. Um, I never really have that much gold. Raiding party. Musters a group of orcs into a military raiding party. Under your command, they will be small but flexible fighting force able to devastate undefended human settlements. They will still occupy an agent slot, and their gain menace will add to your agent's menace if they disband their raiding force. Okay. Maximum raider HP depends on command stat. Yeah. So that's why you want high command, so you can raise a huge army. Commandeer ships turns an empty shipyard in the Warlord's Horde into an orcish shipyard, allowing overseas colonization. Requires a human settlement with a dock and for the Warlord's Horde to have an empty shipyard. That's kind of cool. We have a bunch of other stuff. Um, war, build shipyard, requires infiltrated orc camp, requires 70 gold. Okay, so if we get 70 gold, we can build a shipyard, I believe. How do we get gold? We, I don't know if I have to, do I have to do this? I don't think I have to do this. Leadership of this horde immediately starts a fight with an orc upstart with this agent as defender. Yeah, I don't think I need to do it. I thought I was the leader here. Am I not? Okay, I need to become the leader. Challenge the horde. Hopefully this guy doesn't die too. Oh no, I didn't even think about that. Let's not challenge the horde. Let's let's not do that. Let's let's choose something else. <laughs> um Actually no minions can be present anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Actually, no, let's do it. Let's do it. Challenge the horde. Oh, this is the thievery that I'm doing. So I can steal from the ruler. Let's steal the maximum amount. Yep. In the dead of night, past complacent or distracted guards, a figure slips into the palace, grabs what they came for, and departs. It will be many hours before anyone knows as anything was moved. Good work. Oh, and he uh, completed Challenge the Horde. Dismiss. We'll go back to that later. This is a hero. Going to perform Challenge. Holy Abyssal Faith. What the heck? What does that do? He's going there to do it. Okay, yeah, you go do your thing, man. Yeah. He has seven... Supplicant has seven profiles, 16 minutes. He's doing okay. I think... I want to make a Well of Shadows here, but it would take 20 turns. That would take way too long, so I'm going to hold off. This is a lot. Holy Abyssal Faith, if done by a holy order opposed to the Abyssal Faith, causes the ruler of this location to gain a disliking for deep ones. If not, causes the ruler to gain liking for deep ones. Huh. So what is this guy's holy order? I don't know. I don't know, but these guys' holy order 
ones, a configuration of nine. So they're gonna learn to hate the deep ones from this guy. That's what he's doing. Huh. So this is the actions they're most likely to do. Tenant Abyssal Faith? Is he an Abyssal Faith dude? I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. If he is, that will be cool. And then I like this guy a lot. Just spread the Deep One cults. I'm going to go over to this place now that it's free. And I'm going to infiltrate. Conceal Deep Ones. So are the Deep Ones still here? <gasps> they are. He didn't get rid of them entirely. Okay, so we got to... Low profile might be better, but I'm gonna I'm gonna conceal them, reduce their profile, and then do my work. Okay, I might be able to win this because he has five health. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's being attacked. You should okay. So do I hit end turn? Yeah, yeah. End turn. Oof. One damage to me. Don't don't kill me with this hit, please. I'm alive. Please kill him. Yes. So I got another kill. Prig the head. Um move that down, take this over. I have two banners of the John Summit Horde. I don't know why I need those. Um <laughs> So what now? I mean, I should be the leader of this place, right? Let's just... Let's just organize them. Only three turns. Just organize them. Swayed. A lot of people, a lot of people changing religions here. Just dismiss. Wild fauna. While traveling through the outskirts of the Camp Jing with his peons, there is a croaking, hissing, and buzzing cacophonies. Insects, reptiles, and amphibians of various natures crawl, skin, or fly from the undergrowth and attack them. Irritatingly, a peon is killed. The cultist crushed. Cultist crushed by a massive snake. Warlord Ezrai knows this must be the work of a druid who has made this place her home, for these animals would never attack in such unison naturally. As he fights off the rest of the creatures, he considers that with every loss there is an opportunity. Your agent has one HP. Um, your agent loses one HP. Yeah, I, I would die. I would die. Leave the druid. That sucks. That was a new event. I could have done that. Hmm. He needs to heal up, so if I can rest and resupply after this. Yep, organized. Go to. So how's the industry here? Orcish industry, 58%, increasing to default. Okay. Industry is how the Orcish horde supplies its armies. The army's strength is proportional to the sum total of all Orcish industry in its home location and adjacent ones. It will normally hover around 50%, but can be boosted by your agents. Yep. Yep. Sounds about right. Let's rest and resupply. So we're at full health again. Wait, we are at full health. Okay. What the heck? Okay, we're at, we're at full. Let's move. And do we have to challenge the horde here too? I don't... I don't understand. Camp Kuyan. Do we have to take all of these settlements to control the horde? Infiltration 100. Yep, because we, we made it. So hopefully this will start gaining shadow and we can go here and do the same. For now... Let's, let's challenge the horde, I guess. We're at full health. In turn, increases might. Better fighter. A 
awareness. Awareness is growing, visible on map view. This represents the humans who know not just that the world is in trouble, but also why. These people know the truth about your return, to some degree at least, and will take steps to prevent it and stop you. They are more likely to take preemptive action against the shadow and to fund the chosen one as they begin to form an alliance to stop you. Wow. Okay, so awareness is growing pretty quick. Okay, I am challenging. Oh, we have a king aware, that's why. So, kings will tell other kings, which kind of sucks. It's this guy over here. He is... He's kind of he's kind of close. He's kind of close, but too far to reach, which kind of sucks. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's attack the orc upstart. Oh yeah, I am being attacked. Proceed. One damage. Yup. He retreats. He retreats. So he has 36 profile. So I might want to lay low for a bit. But I gotta kill this upstart. Attack him. Yep. Dismiss. Parade that. Take. Did I give the work upstart the banners last time? I should have three of them. That's weird. Subjugate. There we go. This is what I need. It requires you to be holding a banner of this horde, taken from a killed orc upstart who will periodically spawn. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Three turns. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now this place is 100% infiltrated. Let's, let's go to this place. Let's subjugate this place. Take over this whole orc thing. Does it take... It gives me three profile. Doesn't give me any menace, which is nice. And I get XP. 42 XP. How much to next level? Okay. A good amount to next level. How do, I, how do I keep this up on the screen? Eh, that's fine. So is this one mine? This one must be mine. I wish it put me as the ruler, but I think I have to take all of them to become the ruler. Which is cool. Next turn. Ooh, a seal breaks. And your god comes closer to their return. Max power up. You gain an agent slot. Nice. Third agent coming. Fleeting servant. Creates a fleeting servant modifier on a given location as a distraction. Heroes will believe it to be a threat. 30 profile, 50 menace, and may engage in a short quest to defeat it, wasting their time and efforts. That's really cool. So you can <laughs> just wild goose chase uh, the chosen one, which is perfect. But I'm going to recruit someone. I have a slot. I'm going to recruit a Hierophant that's going to travel the world. Or the Trickster. Confuse heroes. She can use personal items stolen from heroes to trick investigators into blaming those heroes instead of your agents, shifting menace gain to them instead. She can also sell ruined potions of healing, which will fail the hero when a hero engages in battle, poisoning them slightly instead of healing. Her monkey companion, Mr. Edgar, also gives a few beneficial traits depending on how he is used. I really like the trickster, but her stats. 3 might, 1 lore, 4 intrigue, 2 command. Not great. Really good intrigue. Um, she, she will die. She has like 3 health. She is not a fighting person. So it might be good just to send her on a wild goose chase as well. Just to infiltrate places. Hierophant starts with 3 intrigue, 3 command. So 1, 1, 3, 3. And then 3, 1, 4, 2. But we only get one trickster. Only one. Um, I'll read the flavor text here. Some spirit of mischief and chaos has overtaken this woman. In 
from an early age she seems to delight in spreading confusion and disarray. Her life as a petty thief, snake oil saleswoman, and counterfeiter makes her a weak but flexible tool for the elder powers if they wish to take control of her mind. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, unit can be placed anywhere. Let's go. Not too far from me, but far enough. So maybe... Maybe we start on this kingdom of Quatos. This huge, huge kingdom. Let's put them at a good junction. So there's no map points that I can cross here, is there? Yeah, so I can't go up that way. It's basically cut in half along this line all the way up till here. So maybe here. Nice. Attack monkey. Get a monkey minion named Mr. Edgar who can steal items in combat. That's cool. Pickpocket primate. And this unit moves into a location with a hero with gold. Steal up to 15. That's cool. Adorable monkey. When this trait is first acquired, the two nearest heroes without any opinion on the agent would gain a liking. Yes. I love this one. Giving this hero like two friends off the bat is incredible for tricking people. Adorable monkey, before being recruited, the trickster's path took her to various villages and cities nearby, and her pet and accomplice, Mr. Edgar, gained her many friends. Sir Amis Fa Fa Ficari <laughs> uh, was one of those and retains fond memories of her. That's a sir? Okay. Yeah, no judgment. It's uh, it's like the 1200, you know, 1200 AC. It's fine. <laughs> or AD. And Sir Diaz Fisati. Ficati. Nice. So I think they're related. We can actually see. Family. Oh, my. Yes. Yes, they are. This is the other one. Okay, interesting. So they're dark right now. Because I am viewing location in units of John Summit Horde. Why? I think that's a map thing. So I just hit one. Okay, so this is nations. You just have to hit the numbers to see it. So nations here. You can see this, this massive nation. This has got to be the main threat in the entire game. We've got to take them out first. Um... These are orcs, which is cool. These are also orcs. So I could take over this orc uh, horde as well. And then we've got profile, agent's visibility. I don't, I don't really see much there. Nothing happening. International diplomacy, I know nothing. Um, let's go infiltration. We should have. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I can see like this one infiltrated these two infiltrated these three sorry um go six modifier finder yeah so this is where you can this is the useful one if you're doing magic you can look at arcane secret deep one cults oh there's one over here that's actually really useful um geomantic locuses Human soul for more dark magic stuff. Lingering resentment. Workish industry. Plague immunity. Political agitation. Oh, good. That's good to know. I might do something there. Instability. Ooh, even better. Divine entity presence. Hmm. Unrest. Wandering manticore. Wandering Ogre. So, Ogres you can recruit, Manticores you kill, and you gain, like, a trophy that gives you extra might in combat. Which is cool. Um, what was next? Point of Interest Finder. Nice. That's cool. Eight heroes. Blue is home. That's crazy. It's, it's so in-depth. Trade Routes. Trade Routes kind of cool. And zero. Nothing. Nice. Back to it. Let's start with the trickster, because she's not doing anything right now. How long? 19 turns to infiltrate this fortress. 
Let's use a power. Cloud senses. No. I want to use Fleeting Servant. That takes three. Cancel. Or the Instant Infiltrate. That would be cool. Uh, you know, let's, let's put her with some heroes. She has zero profile, zero menace. So she's not going to be seen by anyone here. There are some docks we could infiltrate to make a deep one cult later on. Fuel the fire is interesting. Just rest and resupply. Three turns. Increase her base plus one. Conceal deep ones. Nice. So there used to be a way to see... Oh yeah, oh, it's right under. So you, the, under the photo on the left there, in the middle of the screen, sorry. Deep One Cult, um, Deep One Cult Menace 42, Profile Zero. So people are scared of them, but nobody knows about them. I did my job. And now we empower them. Increases the rate of growth. Um, by 3% for 20 turns, which is great. And it only takes me two turns to do this. Yeah. Yeah, of course. At the cost of one power. So it takes one power to do this. So it is an action with some consequence. I could infiltrate. I kind of just want to empower it and get it, get it going as fast as possible. So we're going to empower. And next turn. Subjugate. Nice. Under our control. Next one, then. This is going great. It's going swimmingly. Let's move to this one and turn. Oh, supplicant's done. Go there. And he's. He got there, yep. And she completed her thing. Okay, dismiss. I wish you could click on it, like Total War, like on the side. Like, they won't all come up at once because it's just not possible to handle all the things. Mm -hmm. Deep ones. Deep ones are doing great. They should be growing faster, but I don't know. Let's move on from this place. Let's go to... Let's go up here. Actually, let's go. Oh, let's go to an abbey. Let's let's infiltrate an abbey, where we can cause political instability here. This guy's probably combat banditry. We'll let him do his thing for now. We're not gonna mess with that hero. I don't want him to find this and just attack me. Does he know about me at all? Is he aware? Where's awareness at? I don't know if I can see that. Oh, yeah, I can. Awareness, 0%. But he's 11% in shadow. So he doesn't know it yet, but he's starting to... Uh... Ooh, Sir Rurem Itur is unwisely open-minded, and he likes madness. This guy might just join us, because he's crazy already. That's cool. Okay. It does... Over here, it does let you, like, kind of tell who has actions left, right? But not the big pop-ups. We're going to subjugate. We're going to take over all these things. We've got to. Next, Trickster. Trickster's doing her stuff up here. Yeah, she's pretty far. She can attack. She's not going to. She can't really do much here, actually. So, we're going to go to Cathedral. Yeah, I think Cathedral would be good. One security. Anywhere with zero security, <laughs> by any chance. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the cathedral. 
presence of the eternal master this place links the divine to the mortal world letting entities from outside of physical reality interact with the world by taking control of and corrupting this place this link can be severed good good let's do that before the eternal master awakes i don't want that <laughs> yeah okay she's arrived she's arrived who is this I like that guy. I'll keep him alive. Challenge, holy, destroy, arcane, secret? That's fine. Whatever. He's not... Oh, it's somewhere else. He's going somewhere. City of Emikaven? Yeah, down here. 19 turns to infiltrate. You know what? That's fine. Or I could fuel the fire, which would take 13 turns. Requires existing unrest to have reasons to increase. Does it? No. No, and it really, it really doesn't. So we're just going to infiltrate here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just an infiltrate. Nothing crazy. 19 turns is a big hit. Because we only have 500 turns total. But we need it. He reached the abbey. And we might be able to. Why would I slaughter the bandits? Why? We could raid the periphery. We could arm the bandits. Sets the additional danger of the combat banditry quest on top of inherent danger is seven at the cost of 20 gold. That's kind of cool. Or we could reduce security by two. Would that bring it to zero? And make it really easy to... Oh, and this is also Presence of Pure Memory. Yeah, we gotta get this place too. Okay, I'm going to bribe the guards. Before that, I'm gonna check. Banditry is going up. Which I like. Keep doing that. Mm. Yeah, bribe guards. Two turns. I'll be right back. One second. So, two turns to bribe those guards. Easy infiltrate. Easy from there. There's no stopping us. We will become the world serpent. World panics at 5%. It's fine. 1% world shadow, 5% god awakening sets minimum. Interesting. Um, world panic effects 10% heroes can explore ancient ruins 15% rulers will start funding heroes 20% chosen one can call conclaves conclaves chosen one can progress quest 35 heroes spawn with minions 75 heroes can try and defeat you 80% the chosen one can fulfill the prophecy okay okay so we gotta keep this low gotta keep this world panic low but we've also gotta start doing this so we get victory points from taking out human settlements and causing general havoc, it looks like. Uh, making rulers go insane. And yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's keep getting into it. Nobility and opportunity. Out on a walk, the supplicant's curiosity is piqued by a trail of red spatters leading to a back alley. An esteemed professor who'd been visiting this place lays pale against a wall, alive but delirious. A mere thug must have carved them for a coin, only for them to escape. Your agent ponders for a moment whether offer aid to brag of this later within the high society, or to simply pull the boots off and strip them of all valuables before leaving them to bleed to death. Hmm. The supplicant. 25 gold? Or menace reduced by 6. What's his menace at? 36? Yeah, I'll reduce my menace. 
That's great. I like that event. Subjugate camp. Done. Okay, so we have these ones here. We'll subjugate. Let's move on to Camp Ling and Camp Shija. Oh, conscript Ogre. There's an Ogre over here. Yeah. Five turns to get an Ogre, but man, is it worth it. Ogres are so good. Bribe guards. The sun begins to set. The first shadow begins to take hold. The world will become slightly darker. As you expand your shadow, the nobles and heroes of the world will become obscured by darkness and lose the ability to defend themselves against your coming dominion. The age of darkness begins. The stars shine less brightly. So, it has zero security, but my guy still sucks at infiltrating, so it's still going to take seven turns no matter what. Okay. We're going to uh, infiltrate the holy site. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Ooh, I could bring the orcs over here to raid the city. 46 L 46. My army could defeat them. 56. Plus our raiding party? Yeah. Yeah, that's a plan. So I just hit like three turns there, just to pass time. The alchemist, the trickster has discovered a gaggle of alchemists. These poor fools, driven by a dangerous mixture of curiosity and naive yet ignorant greed, imagine themselves on the verge of solving life's problems. Immortality led to gold. Their desires are pedestrian, yet their approaches could bear fruit if guided by those who know more. Mm. Dark power could grant us all gold. Agent gains 75 gold. Your agent loses 15 challenge progress, 50% shadow to this location. Avoid them. I think deceive the fools. I like gold, but I would love to just start in shadowing people immediately. Where's she at again? Up here. This cathedral. Yeah, 50% in shadowment already. So these people are going to start gaining in shadowment. Everyone that comes here will. It's going to be great. And so she lost challenge progress, 15 of it. So she still has 17 turns left. Conscript Ogre, let's go. Okay, so now I've gone Ogre, seeing the minions. 10 HP, four attack, three defense. Menacing, increases the menace by 10. That's okay. That, I, I, don't, I don't like that, but... <laughs> It's fine. He's an orc. He's supposed to kind of draw the attention off these other two people's backs. The trickster and the supplicant. If he can do that, uh, and these orcs, like, take up humans' time and resources fighting them instead of me, all the better. Okay, so three turns. Oh, leveled up. More... Infamous. When killed by a hero, this agent can reduce the profile menace of all other agents with less than half its profile menace. It will also temporarily reduce world panic to proportionally, uh, proportionally to this agent's menace. Infamous is great. Infamous is really great if you're going to go with an orc dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. Watched. The guard's patrol is ordered, and the watchmen do their duty, but none watches patiently nor gossip as often as the elderly women of this city. A vast network to rival any is by massacred craft. They are becoming suspicious of the supplicants coming and goings, muttering about their presumed misdeeds and foul motives. They may not suspect the truth, but they certainly have experience enough to note when something is wrong and when someone is hiding something. Let them gossip. Profile increases by 15. Menace increases by 15. Silence them. Abandon the challenge. I'm going to silence them. I just got lower menace. I'm going to silence them. Ooh, wild fauna again. Well, he's traveling through the outskirts of Camp Ling. Nice. So Warlord Ezerai is doing this again. He has 7 HP this time. He's going to kill and frame the druid. Agent's menace reduced by 5. His menace is already pretty low, but yeah. Why not? 
An orcish upstart is making a name for himself, claiming to be the true rightful leader of the Horde and rallying orcish followers to his cause. Any agent who kills him can claim rightful dominion over the Horde by right of succession by conflict. While the orcs have their upstart leader, their suppression, if they have any, decays by two per turn. Dismiss. We gotta go take that guy out. I have two turns left on this, though, so we'll do that first. Oh, religious tension has spread the influence of monkhood to Tosion, monkhood of Tosion to city Fervadi, displacing Church of Imons, um, increasing the tension between the two orders. This may cause violence between the acolytes. The degree to which relationship can degrade depends on the status of the holy orders. Intransigent faith tenant. This faith's max is minus 60. Wow. Let's go to this. Interesting. And dismiss. And subjugate. So this, this city... Modifiers... Quests... Uh, local actions... National actions... So this is what the nation does. This is what the local place does. So everything is doing its own stuff and growing independently, which is the coolest part about this game. But the religion is grass. No. <laughs> religion is monkhood. Oppose divinity, prophecy, divinity. Wow. Structural tenets, divinity, moral tenets. Okay. That's interesting. I can drive it back. You've corrupted zero two presences of this entity in the world. As a being from outside the mortal realm, you can use your power to oppose the divinity of this holy order directly. Divine entities must expend their strength to act in the mortal world. It must be 100% for them to perform an action. Your own dark power can reduce their strength by 10% for each point expended. This will prevent them taking action until they reach 100% again. If you corrupt all their presence locations in the world, you can exile an entity you have reduced to 0%, permanently driving it out of this sphere of existence. This will immediately shatter the minds of all the acolytes, turning them into 100% in shadowed and insane. Oh, that's so good. That is actually so, so good. Okay. So, if I take out these holy locations, right? Like this, um presence of the eternal master and i take out like his other one so you might have two of these locations i i can make everyone insane that falls that's that's so good insta board clear we have two power i would like three to send the chosen one on a wild quest where is the chosen one? Mediator Krebus Batatis is the chosen one. Oh, this dude's motivated to kill um, the supplicant. We have someone coming for us. Mm, sorry about that. So, is this the chosen one? Yeah. This is the chosen one. They're not too close to me, but they're probably going to make this whole kingdom aware of me, which would be really bad should be really really bad that's okay it's okay six turns left to infiltrate holy site 12 turns left to infiltrate here and shadowment 50 percent is good i like that let's let's just let her keep doing her thing let's go kill this orc supplicant attack orc upstart not supplicant proceed so he attacked the ogre it went into his defense and then yeah the ogre killed him that's why ogres are great dismiss prayer to them as usual take and now we're good now we're good nobody's challenging us we're gonna go here wards established oh no he started making wards Everyone's starting to make wards. Okay, so those are wards. Those will stop the shadow from getting in there at all, essentially. Wards protect against the spread of shadow, including shadow spread by Well of Shadows. So the Well of Shadows is my antithesis to the ward. Um, 
At 100%, the location will no longer receive any shadow from neighboring and shadowed locations. Yes, they are safe from the shadow, which is disappointing. Not good for me. Who is this guy that's coming to attack? Okay, he's kind of close. It's this dude. He's four might. He has no bodyguards, but he has seven hit points. I might need to get out of there. I might be attacked. I don't have any money to recruit. That's uh, that's real bad. We'll see what happens. He didn't move closer. More wards being established. Swarming vermin. Supplicant encounter a throng of local vermin. Made brazen by their numbers and desperate scarcity of food. Um, I can lose a bunch of HP. I can avoid them or I can abandon them. Command. The Baroness can command them. That's funny. Um, I'm going to wade through the swarm. 2 HP. Oh, the supplicant pushes through the infested road with a brisk stride. Most step out of the way of the falling, tail, falling tall shadow of your agent while some of the vermin react to her arrival with aggression. They snarl as they climb up her legs and bite at her hands that try to swipe them away. Um, a couple proving to be persistent to the point of hanging on by their teeth. When the last one scares away, her legs are bruised through the fabric and her hands are bleeding, but she is still on time, unless she bleeds out now. Yeah. So she's okay. She's okay. End turn. What, what's going on with the orc? Oh, he made it. He made it there. So I have to subjugate. Let's go back to the supplicant. We gotta watch and see if this guy gets closer. I think he moved away. Dismiss, dismiss. Okay, no longer show ward created. Ooh, ah, that's gross right next to me. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, so do they know about me? I think their king knows. I don't know. I don't know if their king knows. Is she aware? 0% awareness. She just doesn't want to be in shadow. She dislikes shadow. Dislikes deep ones. Okay, so certain characters have likes and dislikes. You can see here. And this will influence what actions they take. There are certain characters which can influence stuff like this. Likes and dislikes, which is sick. Three more turns. Infiltrate holy site. Subjugated. Let's go. Ooh, seal broken. Another seal breaks and your god comes closer to their return. Your maximum power increase. 3 out of 4 now. Powers unlocked. Dangers in the dark. Increases the danger of all quests and neutral challenges in, the lo in this location by 7. Each quest gains danger individually. Nice. Influences a trade route which starts or ends in a fully infiltrated city, causing it to add 1% to all locations it passes through each turn for 25 turns. That's that's really good. So 25% shadow, essentially, on every trade route city. That's pretty good. Dangers in the dark seems good for defense. No more agents, no more recruitment points. That's okay. That's okay. Still, I'm still not the ruler of this. I would like to be. What if I go take over this too? What if I go challenge this work upstart? I think I might do that, but I'm going to rest and recover first. Just to get my health back. Supplicant completes infiltrate holy site. Shadow will spread f at a faster than normal rate to infiltrated locations as the cult welcomes the darkness in. Perhaps the high priest's faith cannot be shaken, and perhaps the sister superior cannot be swayed, but even amongst the holy, there are those who will crave power. Perhaps their current god has failed to deliver what they hoped for when joining their order. Perhaps a change in faith might reward them as they feel is their right. Auto saves are nice. Um, nice. Fifty percent infiltrated, seventy percent shadow. Let's let's infiltrate the catacombs. Thirteen turns to do that. Yeah, yeah. Let's infiltrate these catacombs. How much money he has? Ten gold. Because he bribed. He had to bribe guards. That's why. 
So I can do a lot more stuff at these holy sites once I, uh, once I infiltrate it and get the shadow up more. I might make this a well of shadows just to spread shadow everywhere. The wards defend against it, which sucks, but getting here and here, eventually there, eventually these two. That sounds good. Ooh, a level up too. Stealthy. Loses intrigue every turn. Oh, per point of intrigue. Oh, that's actually much better than I thought. Four intrigue, so point four profile each turn. Or I can upgrade bonus might too. Um, let's... Oh, that's just, that would be the second time I increased it. So let's go bonus to intrigue so we can infiltrate faster. Now it's only going to take 10 turns. Religious tension. Dismiss. Shadow driven back. Okay. Dismiss. Oh. Oh, poison. The trickster suddenly feels unwell as poison wrecks their system. The human that deals in stealth and precision, less direct and visible in their methods than the usual hero, has managed to poison her. They may have to slow down their progress, or we could heal them with a measure of our power. They have 5 HP. Um... I'm gonna endure. I'm gonna endure the poison. She's so close. Oh, they have a ward. Oh, that sucks. Six turns left, though. Come on, you got it. She's driving back the shadow here. Zero percent shadow, zero percent infiltration. Yeah. I need to get this place, because the presence of the Eternal Master. Come on. We are going to raiding party musters a group of orcs raiding party under your command they'll be small but flexible what if I boost the industry of this place where is the highest industry none of them so I'm going to go here Suede. Unit arrives. Hmm. Let us organize the horde. Increase workish industry. Yep. In turn, in turn, curious nobles. The supplicant is brought before the Abbey of Natisa's curious nobles. The local elite have sought our pawn out and are willing to assist her, either to further their own mundane goals or to simply partake in something extraordinary. All must first be convinced of the one they are supporting before a single copper is given away. Your agent's refusal to prove herself would affect her mystic fame, possibly for the better. Hmm... Profile increased by 5. But they gained 25 gold, which I want. I want that gold. Okay. He organized the horde. World panic. World panic's growing. Good. <laughs> this value visible in the top right indicates how visible your actions are in the world and how much the average citizen of the world is afraid of these changing times. They may not know why the world is falling apart, but they are beginning to realize it. This will affect their behavior, and they will begin to gain awareness of the true threat in time. Yeah, 10%. Heroes can explore ancient ruins. Yeah, they can do that now. Let's organize the horde. Enter. Religious tension. I don't want to see any more religious tension stuff. I don't want to see opinion swayed either. Sandstorm. Warlord Ezrai finds himself caught in a sandstorm. The howling winds of the deserts carry with them razor-like sand grains, slicing at flesh and blinding the eyes. Little can be done by humans other than cowering under their cloaks or indoors, but the servants of elder beings might be able to call upon their patron's power to endure what others cannot. Your agent has 7 HP. 18 challenge progress, which sucks. Um, 1 power. 
continue regardless, losing HP. I'm going to slow them down. It's fine if they're slowed a bit. It wasn't that much anyway. Infiltrate Holy Sight is done over here. 100% infiltration. 12% in shadow mint. So the ward will protect them from outside. But I don't think it protects them from the inside. Which is great. Great for me. Weaken ward. Halves the strength of the ward of this location. Yes. Yes. I think... Is this going down? Gain per turn. Word blocks 78%. Infiltration adds 100% from ruler 2%. Is the ruler a little messed up? 15% in shadow? Okay. Well, the trickster has 2 profile and 7 menace, so she's low, which we really like. We can do some cool things with her and keep her still pretty low. Weaken the ward. 30 turns. No, 40 turns for Well of Shadows. I think she has zero gold. She's just going to do some subtle thievery. Subtle. Four turns. The horde has been organized. Now I can have 82 total, which is huge. Call the all orcs for whom you hold a banner to unify under the John Summit Horde. Okay, so that's cool. Um, I don't know how to just get all of them to join him. Also, I hope the audio is okay. I know this uh, the music's kind of loud. The music's kind of loud, but I'm trying to talk over it. We'll see. Next. Next. What do we do with him? We're going to try doing a raiding party, I guess. Or, no, I'll go here. And I'll uh, organize them. Only three turns. Infiltrate Catacombs is done. Very good. So I could make a Well of Shadows. 20 turns. It's a lot. It's because his lore stat is low. And lore is for the Well of Shadows. So maybe that comes later on. Maybe I just keep it infiltrated. And I go for an infiltration here, maybe. Or I move them. I'm going to move them. I'm going to try and take out their food source at the uh, village. Oh, I'm stealing with the trickster. Nice. One of the kings died. Nice. So is the word weakened now? It constantly decreases? Okay. Good to know. What? What's this? Four security security five security zero zero okay let's go here let's infiltrate the fortress 13 turns yeah oh and a level up let's make her stealthy I want her to be stealthy is organized and now raiding party okay infiltrate 15 turns that's fine nobility and opportunity out on a walk oh the same thing he found a, a stab dude Let's reduce his menace. No, we need we need money. Let's kill the druid. Yeah. Oh, we're in 
shadowing a baroness. 50% in shadowment reduces their motivation to perform various actions which harm your interests, such as attacking heroes, wording, driving back shadow, or ordering the destruction of high menace locations. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, is that the chosen? That's the chosen one right there. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't kill us. Apparently, Princess Amon's Fikari wants to attack me. Her. She has nine hit points. Her attack is five. Her defense is two. I have seven hit points, four attack, two defense. That's not good. Um, she might just attack me right here. So, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. And I have to lay low. I have to find a place where I can lay low. And turn. Oh, military oppression. Trickster found out mili military presence here is somewhat forceful as she goes about her task. She can either comply with the overbearing and zealous military force and waste valuable time, or ignore their requests and garner negative attention. I think she has to comply. I don't want her profile to go up. Oh, this king is aware. Oh no, that's not good. He's 100% aware. That is really not good. Agent Idol, why is he? Oh, okay, I have to lay low in cities. So that'll bring down this each turn he sits. Nemesis, oh is close enough to receive immediate news of the actions. Righteous fury, righteous fury at the injustices performed, they gain a dislike for Warlord Ezrae. Okay. Yeah, he made a raiding party. People don't like it. Oh, this king's already dead. Okay. Okay, so I have to recruit additional raiders. More nobility. Let's reduce reduce their menace, yeah. War. Queendom of Kurin. On who? Let's go to the diplomacy tab. Okay, okay, got it. They're at war with these people. That makes sense. Good luck. And they're friends with... Okay. No opinion. Okay. Pure guide is growing displeased. The eternal master is growing displeased. They're, they're not happy. and turn oh recruit raiders 18 they're now 24 of 33 okay let's recruit even more I don't think we'll be able to attack this well maybe maybe Okay, the queen is aware. The baron's aware. A lot of people are aware now. Seal broken. That's good. Um, split shadow creates a shadow agent by tearing the shadow off a hero. The shadow can be controlled like an agent, but loses HP every turn it is not near its parent. Or in a location with shadow greater than 50. Okay, that, that's cool. I can make a shadow clone. <laughs> I'll take it. Infiltrate fortress done. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Let's move on to the village. Still 13 turns. No level up yet. We'll see. Shadow driven back. Where? Okay, I recruited. They're aware. No. Okay, don't tell me people are aware anymore. I, I don't care. Uh, that sucks. With the Abbey down here, the shadow is... Shadow is growing. We're still 100% infiltrated. Which is okay. 
Military oppression. Oh, comply again. Alliance building. That's not good. Ooh, the queen is in shadowing. Down here, this queen. 50%. Nice. So we could turn this into a shadow settlement eventually. This is pretty shadowed. 64. How's the deep cult? 135. We should go... Mm. Yeah, we should grow this. We should try and grow this. Madness is increasing. In shadow mint. Leaders 25% in shadow. Things are going well. She is 64% in shadow. She's, she's going. I have a recruitment point. I can recruit an agent. Let's go with a hiring font. Preach my, uh, preach my gospel. And let's go down here. Let's start. Ooh, NPCs, tags are concept, and NPCs AI can have personal opinions on. Yeah, so that's their like dislikes. Um, so this guy can influence those. Yes. Cure disease quest will have a disease as a negative tag, so that a hero who dislikes disease will gain a plus twenty motivation for accomplishing that quest. Okay. Politics. You can use hierophants to influence the ruler's opinions. Wars can be started by first causing a ruler to become obsessed with combat and ambition, then degrading international relationships. Wars cause very long-lasting dev devastation, which can be very useful in weakening human nations. Alternatively, civil wars are started when city rulers disagree with their sovereign, which you can cause by influencing the sovereign in one way and the dukes and duchesses in another. Ambitious dukes are especially prone to starting civil wars as they try to form independent nations. Good. We're going to increase his lore. Gonna increase, this is going to be our lore guy. So he's going to preach. Or, you know, he'll preach. He'll preach. Why not? Gospel of Violence. Envy. No, envy. Yeah. <laughs> and turn gold from rulers. Heroes and agents gain gold in a number of ways, but now that world panic has risen sufficiently, heroes will start receiving funds from their home cities. Rulers will occasionally donate gold from their treasuries to the heroes of the world. Your agents can benefit too. An agent created in a human settlement will have that place as their home location. If the ruler of that place falls in the shadow, they will start funding your agent periodically. Hover over a local action fund hero in the right hand side to see motivation breakdown for this funding. Nice. So I can get funding. Uh, where's... We'll do his thing. He's at full. 33 out of 33. So I could come down here and start raiding. 42 of 42. 12 of 12. What if I go over here? I just raid all the way over there and take that out. Or. Or. I could come up through here. This way. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like how close these armies are. I think I would rather fight this one. Yeah. Let's try. Let's try going over here. And then we'll go up here. Yeah. Even though they're becoming enshadowed, which I kind of like, I actually I shouldn't mess with them. I should mess with these people. Or these people. 30. Oh, that's a juicy target, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay, let's see the trickster's, trickster's home location is here. 
we are not infiltrated or in shadow. This place is going well. 14%, 4%. Ward's weak. Okay. We're making progress. World panic's a little high. Supplicant has laid low. Yeah, their profile's low and their menace is low. Well, their menace isn't as low as it could be. That's fine. We are going to recruit a self sword. Mm, actually, plus one intrigue, plus one might. This one attack. I think I'll buy this dagger. Yeah, it takes one turn to buy something. Now him. I'm gonna attack. I think I might be able to do it. Well, I'm gonna end here, actually. I want... What I really want is for their heroes to leave. Because I think their heroes influence the battle as, like, leaders. Which I don't want. Supplicant doing his thing. We are going to... Infiltrating still takes so long here. What if we just go the fort? 13. Yeah, let's infiltrate here. Not the orc. Let's wait for those heroes to leave. More alliances. Hierophant. Fairy Ares. Fairy Ares? <laughs> Very hairy. Uh, encounters a group of potential supporters. Some of the local decadents, yeah, decadents, are willing to assist him, but their support has a cost, a taste of your power. Refusal would, of course, be taken as an affront. Allow it. Intrigue increased by one for 35? That's, that's really good. That's actually really good. I lose a power? Yeah, I'll do it. Keep waiting, keep waiting. Hierophant is done preaching. Are these people envious? He has ambition now. Let's make him violent. Nice. Hierophant's just doing his thing. No problems. Merchant. As the supplicant goes about their business, they are called to by a trader, sitting beside his assortment of wares. He's been watching for a while now, and has realized and has realized that the supplicant is involved in some affairs they may not want the guards knowing about. He assures the supplicant that he has no intention of turning customers over to the guards, ensuring that the subtext is well understood. That if the agent does not make a purchase, they would not be a customer, and so might not be safe from his reports. He may, of course, not be trustworthy, and possibly the item bought will turn out to be of no worth at all. I'll buy a trinket. Random item. Infiltrate farming is done. Infiltrate farming community. Nice. Ooh, okay, so we gotta move this down. Plus one intrigue, plus one might, and one gold every time I move. Yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good. Thanks. 20, 20 gold for that? I'll make 20 moves with, with him. These people are still sitting, which I don't like. Rest and resupply. What are you doing? Fund Convocation of Dawn? Oh, 38 out of 46. Now's the time to strike. Okay. Attack the army. Raise city. Or drive back. I don't know if I want to increase my menace like that because I'm not even sure these people can influence the battle. So I'm just going to attack the army. In a battle, 1v1. View battle. Yes. Okay, so no defending commanders. I don't think they'll... Command advantage attackers, 37%. Command advantage derives from the command stat of the heroes and agents involved and adds a damage bonus to the side with a greater combined value. Okay. I, I have advantage, so hopefully I should be able to kill these guys. 
let's dismiss and continue the battle. Oh, nope, have to do something with her. Okay, yeah, so she infiltrated, which is great. I kind of... She has 20 menace for profile. That's not, that's not bad at all. People really don't know about her. If I go to... See, his 8 security? That's crazy. Zero security here. Let's go to this convent. And let's infiltrate the holy site. Organized descent. Adds an organized descent modifier, which decreases security and increases unrest, or until the ruler changes. That's cool. Okay, so they're they're a little upset. It would increase my profile, but not my menace. Thirteen turns. I would rather infiltrate, to be honest. Why is this red? Or, oh, they're at war. That's why. That makes sense. The battle. Oh. Sister Nato Minare relives the news of her mother, Sister Amadis Minare's death over and over, haunted by the memory. Without sleep or rest, they are losing their mind to grief. In these dark times, they are prey for the elder powers, as they can no longer defend their mind against the forces which would undo it. The memory won't fade. Mourning period increased by 15 turns. Drive them to insanity. Loses 10 sanity. Acquires 1 power. How much sanity do they have? 20? Yeah, I'll, I'll drive them toward insanity. It's half. Yeah. I have 3 out of 5 power. I can actually do some cool stuff. I'm going to do... Dangers in the Dark. No. I can do Eyes in the Shadow. And just do it on the uh, convent. I can do it on anywhere, actually. I'm going to do it on a city. Yeah, 33% infiltrate. Okay, that's that's good. I like it. It's not bad. What did I what did I infiltrate? I don't know. Jeez, I can do I can build a temple. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, enter. Poison. The trickster's poisoned. Okay, indoor. Indoor. In shadowing the Duchess. This battle's still going on. Yeah, nice. 50% enshadowment on the uh, population. And the ruler's at 52. This is great. This is going well down here check on the battle 25 to 29 <laughs> not looking good keep this battle going you're redeemed battle three and three 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 Ooh, ooh! another army came in it might be time to leave Bad, 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 bad. They have 38. If I can go back and recruit. Impish supporters. Uh, this art is so good. I, I love the, all the art. Fallen Oak Games. Interesting. Hierophant Ferry Ares encounters mischievous imps while going about their business in the Abbey of Nitis. The creature offer to assist your agent in his plans, but they require some sustenance, magical or otherwise, to allow them to assist, and if we refuse, they will become disruptive pests as imps are prone to such pettiness. Blood has power, ignore them, abandon, take their aid. Oh, 
Well, blood has power. I'll, I'll feed him, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Okay, the raiders. Why do I have a human leading the raiders uh, on that screen? I'm going to recruit. This place is really in shadow. Oh yeah, they're losing. They're they're losing their minds. Unrest, lingering resentment. Okay, Hierophant is good. We're going to rest and resupply. Get full health. Infiltrate fortress. Finally finished. 100% infiltrated. We could make a well of shadows. It would take 20 turns. This would be a great place for it. This place would be even better, actually. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna infiltrate this. Nine turns. Easy. Easy. Hopefully someone doesn't come and attack him. Rest and resupply. So, now that I've done the preaching, is this ruler ambition, combat, and cruelty? Nice. So I'm going to go in here. Oh, I can't, I can't preach here. What if I go... I'm going to go here. I'm going to go up there. Ooh, new trait better lore yeah grid that lore battle uh oh are they attacking the homeland they are uh oh <laughs> uh oh <laughs> I've got to run abandon and turn a night out at an inn this week the supplicant finds she has no more tasks to be completed everything is in order for now no poisons or bribes to administer to officers no traitors no accidents or opportunities it's as if tent villages in her workings have ground to a halt for the coming week a rare chance to simply let loose and enjoy herself wherever else would she end up at but an inn reduce menace reducing menace is also always good abandon raiders good so we're no longer have these raiders here but these we're gonna get stomped here so i have to get in here and organize a defense essentially uh command battle Or, yeah, let's go up there. Watch. The guards patrol is ordered and the watchmen do their duty. Oh, the old, old ladies are gossiping. I'm gonna, I'm gonna silence them. Yeah, I'm gonna silence them. Damn. So this camp is, is getting murked right now let's organize retreat to the hills retreat from the lines establish defense half of all work industry on the borders of this world will be turned into defense positions army redeployed to them good at quickly reducing threat to avoid wars or surviving one against a powerful foe retreat or organize a raiding party and come in and attack which would take too long i think One turn. Morning. The soul crumbles slowly. Grief has defeated them. Rest in peace. So I don't think this really helped me much. I'm going to organize a raiding party, I guess. Yeah. Oops, Agent Idol. 
I have to infiltrate here. 13, that's not bad. Better than 20. And I did infiltrate here. Nice. Organized descent. Profile gain 5. Menace 0. Why not? Let's up her intrigue. Just make it crazy intrigue on her. Nice. Infiltrated the farming community. Oh, guilt in the family. Brother Ravivis Kanda has heard of the crimes that his sister, the trickster, is accused of and is horrified. Whether they are horrified by the crimes themselves or for their family's reputation remains. Of course, an open question. They may be humans, but aristocrats live or die by their reputations, regardless of motivation. Brother Ravivis Kanda has made it a personal point of honor to oppose the trickster to the best of their ability, and has taken up a burning personal grudge against her. No forgiveness. Nice. Okay, infiltrate the, the tent village. So we're going to make this a well of shadows. It's going to take 20 turns. But it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so, so worth it. Yeah. The trickster doing her thing. I got a raiding party. Oh, what is going on here? Why are there so many heroes coming in to just demolish? Six turns to recruit raiders. They're just going to steamroll me, aren't they? War. Morning. Okay, so now they're attacking the Selma itself, which is fine, I think. Merchant. Buy a potentially rare item. 30 gold for the trickster. Yeah. Maximum power increase. Another seal. Ooh, War Axe. Plus three might? That's so good. That's so, so good. I've never seen that item before. Okay. A night out at the inn. Reduce a menace of the supplicant. Yeah, reduce the menace. Keep recruiting. Keep recruiting over here. Oh, they left. Oh, thank goodness. Nice. They're at 44 still. And that army's at 36 going that way. Which is not great. What is going on over here? We're going to follow that, that army. Potential supporters for the trickster. I have to increase her intrigue. Yeah, why not? Morning. The Baron is consumed by feelings of guilt over Meteor Amon's Ficati. Rest in peace. I, it wasn't my fault. He was too weak. He was too cowardly. He was too weak. attacking they're attacking over here i think nice organized descent it's done infiltrate the catacombs in nine turns yeah get full uh full infiltration let's go back here where is this army going Are they returning Infiltrate Fortress. Oh, the Baron doesn't like the trickster either. Okay, Gospel of Cowardice. Yeah.
the alchemists again. I can deceive them, or I could get some gold. Adding 50% shadow would be nice. Yeah. And unscrupulous supporters for the Hierophant. People really like me. Increased intrigue for the Hierophant. No, I'm gonna... He has nothing for them. I don't want to spend any more of this power. I have 6 out of 6 power. I should have spent it. <laughs> oh, you have enough influence to change the tenets of Convocation of Dawn via the Holy Order screen. Very nice. Oh, we're gonna... We're gonna help out. Actually, no, we're gonna raid this. Raise, raise this village. Plunder... Whenever an orc army or an orc raiding party formed by a warlord performs a raise settlement action, they take a portion of its wealth back to their home fortress as plunder. Cool, cool. Um, this will be accessible to any agent when you have infiltrated the fortress's location. Gold gained is based on population and prosperity. Orc raiders under a warlord gain more per turn than an army does. Yeah, that's me. So these guys are fighting. I think they're going to be just fine. They're going to take out that city. That's going to be great. We're going to keep going. Eight gold. Oh. Oh. There is a huge army that, that walked up that I did not see. Oh, all their armies are coming. Oh, no. Let's go to this other territory. Let's join in the fight here. Four damage. One damage to me. Okay, this is a huge battle now. I think we outnumber them. But they're, they're about to join in. Uh-oh. Get out. I'm going to leave them. Just, just do their thing. Oh, nobody even lives here. Is this all just empty? They didn't expand? Okay, well, the orcs need to expand. I am going to go here. <laughs> Fortress of Chum. I know, I know. Infiltrate catacombs. Honey pee. Let's go. Organize descent. Still going strong. Increasing unrest until Baron Natur is no longer the leader. Oh. That's cool. Let's Should move up here maybe. We have a lot of heroes. Take out this one, maybe. This convent. Or we could infiltrate the fortress. Yeah. Let's do that. We have some power, though. So, let's use our power. Let's do... I think... Dangers in the dark. Fleeting servant. Yeah, I think fleeting servant. We want to distract them. And we're going to put them up here. I think up here. Yeah, right. Why not? So they think someone bad is over here now and they're gonna try and go take them out instead of focusing on me another merchant i don't have any money i can't i can't buy your stuff oh increase both by four profiling and menace thunderstorm thunder cracks overhead and lightning rages and arcs across the skies the very environment turns against the trickster who has found herself caught in a violent thunderstorm that threatens to topple trees and electrify the unfortunate 
Little can be done by mortals other than seeking cover or wrapping up and braving the storm. But the servants of elder beings might be able to call upon their patron's power to endure what others cannot. 18 challenge progress? That's, that's a lot. Um, I'm going to protect her. I have the power. I'm going to protect her. I'm also going to use the eyes in the shadow and infiltrate somewhere. Start infiltrating up here. Nice. Unit arrives. Oh, the Daughterhood. The Daughterhood cult has existed for centuries. Their sect weaving through humanity's religious texts and developments. Often their symbols will be found as a small part of a much larger temple, as a concession of the dominant religion to the faith of the Daughterhood. Their preaching unnerves the listener as they teach that their creator hates creation and that humanity's very existence is a sin, a sin which one day, which may one day be undone. Despite their blasphemous doctrine, they are tolerated and sought out for their uncanny ability to foresee the future. Their guidance allows crops to be gathered before the storm and villages evacuated before the flood. Lately, however, the seeing daughter of City of Rumis has started screeching in terror, raving that the end has come and that the time of unmaking is nigh. Call her to serve. She will, say, she will wait in the City of Rumis for the agent to arrive. Oh, nice, right there. Nice. Okay, so I can recruit her at some point. I can influence the Convocation of Dawn. Is it this place? Convocation of Dawn. I can influence them. Oh, yeah. 200 out of 200. Um, prophecy. Divinity. Moral tenets. Abyssal faith. Um... Human plus three. Must be negative for you to invest to turn tenants negative. Negative values will cause acolytes to gain shadow over time. Let's... Hmm. Budget. Oh, that's a lot of gold. Prophecy... Oh, no pro... 23 candidates, including the trickster. That would be cool. Hmm. I don't exactly know how this influences things. Increases the influence cost required, making further changes far more difficult. That's not good. Candle circles. Oh no, I don't like that. Remove. Oh yeah. So is the Convocation of Dawn under my control? I think I need to influence these things. I need to influence their alignment status. Yes. Oh, wow. That took all of that. Okay. that did but i hope it was good preach the gospel of cowardice eyes blind to guilt oh nice bribed guards on his location we might be finishing up the uh stream here soon maybe uh 10 to 15 minutes depending maybe sooner we'll see i i definitely want to keep playing this campaign so you're gonna have to 
follow me, subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, um, to catch the rest of it. Probably gonna play Friday. Hopefully this should be going up on YouTube Thursday, and then the next video on Saturday. But, for now, let's just keep playing. So this ruler did not listen to my, to my preaching, which is sad. But I can turn it into a Well of Shadows in 14 turns. Which is, it has a good reach, so I actually probably will do that. Yeah, 14 turns. It increases his menace by a lot, I think, but worth, very worth. We're gonna come in here and we're just gonna attack. Just gonna attack these people. They're in my, my town. Giant spiders. The recently darkened sky of, skies of the Tulabor Bastion have allowed some things to crawl closer. Civilization unnoticed. Hierophant Ferrieres Ferrieri, has encountered a swarm of dog-sized spiders. Thick webbing blankets the area's massive fanged arachnids prepare their next meal. Perhaps he could lead certain troublesome fools here and never to be found again. I reduce menace by 5, but I lose 15. Yeah, yeah, why not? He just started, so... Dealing 5 damage. Dealing 4 damage. Okay. So, I am dealing more damage than them. 4 damage. 4 damage. Oh, not by, not by much now. 4. 3. Ooh, the Baron is in shadowing. 3. 3. I might die here. Infiltrate Fortress. Nice. Three, three, okay. This place is 100% infiltrated. She needs some gold. She's gonna steal. Her menace is so high, but her profile is super low, which is great. Well of Shadows. Oh, I'm being watched. Who is being watched? The trickster. Yeah, silence them. If people know where I am and my menace is high, they'll instantly come and kill me. If they don't know where I am but my menace is high, yeah, no. Whatever. Ooh, two and two. No forgiveness. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the Well of Shadows. This is what I'm talking about. This is the good shit. So these, pr these places are protected because of the ward. Um, not entirely, but a lot. And this place is 90% in shadowed. Which is wonderful for me. What can I do here now? I can weaken the ward. 15 turns. I don't know if that's worth it. I, I would rather weaken the ward on one of these. Which I think I might do here. Or I can explore ruins. Ooh, I'm exploring ruins. That's cool. 7 turns for that. And a level up. Ooh, let's make him stealthy. He has high intrigue. Hi, let's make him stealth. Shadow driven back. Okay, take all the gold I can. 35 for the sneaky. If I don't do a sneaky uh, thief, I can do the full one and take everything. But I gain so much profile and menace. It's not worth. Two. Two. Um, I think this warlord might die if I don't run him away. I think I have to leave. Abandon. In turn. Um, what is she doing? She can do a, a good amount. I think she should start going up here and doing stuff in this place. Because they're the farthest from me, so I want to... What is this also? What the heck? Witch? Oh. 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 Let's go up there. I can also recruit a cell sword. I'm gonna recruit a cell sword first. In towns, you can recruit um, minions. Cell swords are good. They're generic, but they're good. It's a it's a shield for the character, and she is weak. Okay, so this guy's at six out of seven. I could call a war path and make these people go to war, but I don't. I don't think that's worth it at all. I don't, I don't think so. I think... 
Gonna go back here. And attack the orc upstart. Because I have an ogre, and he doesn't. He retreats. No, he used fleed. Coward. <laughs> oh no, I'm being attacked. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, so before I move, I have to resolve that combat. But I'll go to the cell sword. Cell sword's great. Good job. I can recruit another cell sword. I think I should. I think that's smart. So I'm being attacked here by this person. And they have oh, they have two minions. Not great. Not great for me. Um, and turn. Oh, they didn't attack me? Oh, no, she was attacking me, and I just waited. I just waited there. Okay, I gotta run. Oh, no, because I'm under attack now. I should have moved. Oh, no. Um. Lose, lose progress for attacking me? I don't know. I think I can do that. No. Oh, that's... This isn't the chosen one. Okay. I thought I saw something. Don't worry about it. Dangers in the dark? Cannot choose here. Oh, okay. Let's do this combat. I might I might lose my warlord, but that's fine. He'll reduce everyone's stuff when he dies. Wow. Five to the ogre immediately. Okay. My warlord killed a sellsword. The ogre dealt damage to the hero directly. Knight attacked me directly. Sellsword attacked me directly. I could die here if she attacks me directly. She attacked the ogre and didn't kill it. Yes, let's go. The ogre is so clutch. He chose the right target. Oh, wow. Okay, now this person's mad because he was married to her. Oh, no. Dismiss. Sorry, man. Glory in the victory. I already have the infamous trait, don't I? I don't think it would do anything. 25 profile, 25 menace? No, it's not going to do anything. I mean, why not? Uh, you know, glory in the victory. Outmatched. Take all their gold. Done. That's funny. Okay, now... Secrets of death. Produce an arcane secret. Okay, well, that's for magic, and I don't want to do that right now. This city is just starving? Yeah, they're starving. Hilarious. They only have five defenders. But they have armies close. Eh. Nah, I don't like it. I'd rather go here um, and rest and recover at the fortress. I can recruit a goblin. Takes two turns. I don't want to be attacked by that one, dude. You know what? Allow it. I'll, I'll take the support. Increase my intrigue again. Go to. Nice. Let's. Take me way too long to infiltrate here. Let's move to the village. And let's infiltrate it. And raiding it would increase my menace and profile by a lot, which is not good. I want to keep that low, so I'm just going to infiltrate. Oh no, now this dude, and that dude, there's multiple people exploring ruins at Dokre Village. 
While the supplicant is completing her work at Dokre village, uh, she discovers that she is slowly being surrounded by an ever-growing group of archaeologists, scholars, and opportunist loots. Looters? Loots? I, I like calling looters just loots. That's kind of, that's kind of style. Hey, loot. You loot. <laughs> You imagine calling someone a loot on the street like they they pick something up off the ground and you hey you loot <laughs> who must be for whatever reason also be here seeking what the ruins might hold to be seen looting the ruins would be unfortunate and increase the agent's menace as questions are asked which have no legal answers violence however might be similarly risky as the trail of bodies would undoubtedly lead back to the supplicant share the wealth diplomatic gaining only five gold but avoid drawing any unwanted attention Gain 10 minutes for killing them all. Um, simply walk in and grab what's ours. Gain 5 minutes. I kind of like that. Loot boldly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I could make a, another Well of Shadows. I don't think it would make much sense. We're going to infiltrate the farming community. So if you take out the cities of... Or not the cities, the, the things that supply the cities, right? They just crumble. They crumble so fast. They lose food. Like, they're getting stuff from here. But we've got to, we've got to take down their prosperity and the amount of food they make. Oh no, I left him idle. And he's being chased. Um, Baron Parus Ficati is consumed by a feeling of death over Sir Amis Ficati. Yeah, rest in peace, Sir Amis. Yeah, you're the one who attacked me. She was too weak. She was too weak. Let's... Oh, can I not just heal here? I have to go back to my land? Ugh. That sucks. Okay, go all the way back. Yep. Orc Slayer Kansas is attacking. Sir Sarah Sir is attacking. Oh my god. Sir Vicari. Okay. Oh my god. How do you catch me? Come on. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's a dead man. Yep. Uh, Warlord Ezerai has been killed. Infamous and feared across the lands, they were a very visible symbol of the evils facing the world. Now that he is dead, the world breathes a sigh of relief, believing the danger to be past. World panic is temporarily reduced, and all agents who were below half his profile and menace have their profiles and menaces reduced, if not already at minimum. This one has served its purpose. No effects. Oh, defeat. Uh, yes. The great design cares not for our pawns. Hmm, yeah, hmm. Rest in peace, Orc Warlord. These people are all infiltrated, so I can always see what's going on there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Well, uh, we might recruit another Warlord for these people. That would be fun. Because I do have a recruitment point and an agent. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see out of these here we could do more generics more hierophant civil war stuff we could do magic um magic's difficult and it gets people hating you real quick we could do another warlord and try out this other larger orc encampment we could also do the cursed um she weakens combat abilities of other agents um Yes, she's good for harassing, interrupting, and escaping. Courtier, courtier, uh, he does like diplomacy stuff, able to turn individuals against one another, turning a misplaced handkerchief into a lethal battle between two heroes or a devastating civil war. He's fun. That might be a good choice to pair with the Hierophant. Uh, the survivor, another magical, magical dude, you know, he's, he awakes up north and just wreaks havoc kind of like a orc but more magic and fun um the harvester 
Harvester is awesome. The Harvester has access to passive Howl traits, which require the Harvester to consume human soul modifiers to empower them temporarily. Human souls are at places where agents die, so if an agent dies somewhere, there will be a human soul. While they have turns remaining, he passively increases the shadow of heroes who end on his location, or decrease their sanity, um, as well as in both cases draining their XP, potentially decreasing their level and reducing their stats. On death, curses the killer and their family to reduce max sanity. Really fun. Really fun just to run in and wreak havoc. I'm not going to recruit one yet. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys would like to see. This is going great down here. Um, 43% in shadowed, 51, 100% in shadowed. Leader is 100% in shadowed, so they work for us technically, even if they don't know it. And 86%, almost 100%, 86 as well, 94, and 94. We're getting there with these close ones, close to the Elder Tomb. A lot of people hate us. A lot of people hate us. <laughs> These are all the threats, events. Well, there is an event, event thing. Nice. Messages. Words established. Okay, so you can look at the messages again. That's great. Didn't know that. What is this? Map views. Oh. House? Is <laughs> it just house? Location shadow. Ooh. Yeah, 52. That's going well. All these ones are gaining. Very nice. Very nice. 48% up here. Ruler shadow. Holy orders. Settlements. Population. Okay. Alright. I like it. Hierophant completes Well of Shadows. Another one. This place. Oh yeah, this is the 50% the one that we were looking at. Or it's gonna be at 50. That's sick. What now? What does he do now? I can preach. What is the ruler like? Dislikes shadow, deep ones, ambition, danger. Unassuming, risk averse. Yes. Good. Ambition. Let's make this guy like combat. Let's go over here. Magic optional. Once they detect that new powers are gaining magic, um, arms race starts. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like doing magic very much. What's the ruler like here? Disease and deep ones. Okay. Yeah. Understandable. Next. Well, why not? Let's increase his lore again. Only a couple more turns, because I don't want to do a bunch without max potential. You know what I mean? False miracle. Use elder powers. Oh, jeez. Use elder powers to fake a miracle. Increases influence with convocation of dawn by 33. That's really good. Influence gain decreases with holy order size. Oh, uh, maybe not as good. Influence holy order. Use argument and appeals to scripture to change the way a holy order interprets its text. To gain influence to change the tense of the faith. Increases influence with convocation of Dumb by 29. Hmm. And then all the magic geomancy stuff. Tremor, death of the sun. That looks new. Yeah, there's a lot of magic stuff. Start Plague, Dark Worship. Yeah, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff. Holy Prophecy Doom increases madness by 50. Forest Restock, Political Gridlock, Holy Abyssal Faith. I would like to perform a false miracle. Requires two power. Five turns. 
How are we doing with the Order of the Dawn, or Convocation of Dawn? 34, Human Influence, 111. They're not gaining any per turn, though. Mm, we'll see. I just want to shift their alignment status, you know? So... Actually, yeah, maybe I'll focus on that a little. False Miracle. We'll end turn. Cure redeemed. Good for you. Military oppression. She will not comply. She will comply. She will not comply. She will comply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Farming community infiltrated. Harfant Ferrieri brought before the city's curious nobles a display of them. Challenge increase or challenge decrease. They gain gold and their profiles increase. Yeah, why not? I need some gold with him. It's a good opportunity. I can do a lot of things here now. Not a lot of great things. I could arm the bandits. That would be fun. That would be really fun, actually. What? How does that influence my character? Armed bandits. Profile and menace. Not much profile, a lot of menace. Yeah, why not? And then he can lay low after. Trickster. Trickster has six turns left for infiltrating this. Nice. Is this new? Did they rebel or something? That's cool. I want to get to this coven and get this witch. Hmm. Zero in shadow, zero infiltration. Faith and pawn circle. Let's see if we have elder influence in other places. Just the Convocation of Dawn? That's fine. It would be cool if the next hero, the next agent they added, was a... was a religious person. I mean, this the Hierophant's like the religious person. He's like the cult person. But like someone like special, you know? Like... A holy like priest that's like the leader of everything that would be cool like a figurehead for your own religion like the monarch is like a figurehead for your own nation just an idea i know the dev's not gonna watch my video there's no way well if he does hi dev thank you for making this game it's fantastic i love the art i love the sound i love the gameplay thank you i hope all my viewers like it too um if you have made it this far in the video are still watching and are actively paying attention. Thank you so much. It, it really means a lot. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm going to keep making content for this. I'm going to keep making content for other games. But I like this game. And I like grand strategy games. So I'm going to keep playing those. Um, Rocket League, Squad. Um, what else? There's one other game. I, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. That one's the one I uh, stream as well. But I have a huge library. This is in it. And I'm happy I was able to play it for you guys today. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.